Hi, and in this presentation I'm going to show you how to use 3D Studio Max to quickly design the shape and form of a building and how you can use it to change that shape and form once you've designed it to sort of play around with different ideas and different things. So what I'll do is I'll start by creating a cylinder here in the viewport. There we go. And I'll quickly assign a material to that. And then I'll start changing some of its parameters. So we'll alter the radius. And we'll also alter the height as well. So let's see, we probably want this to be a fairly reasonable size, I can imagine. That should work. And we'll make some copies of this as well. So I'll do them maybe in a triangular shape. Maybe we're going for a skyscraper here. Okay, that's cool. And then I'll make a... Fortunately, we don't have a triangle preset, which is mildly irritating. There you go. I do have a preset there for my extrude. So I can actually extrude that shape up and I think that maybe looking at that I might want to go in and make some changes in a minute I think that, that should really be a little bit taller I think for the size of it it needs to be really maybe maybe about that tall yeah that'll work and we'll make the segments about um, maybe 25 shall we say so there we go that's 25 and I'll change the height of that. We'll make it maybe 350. Value of 350. I'm not really concentrating too much here about the what these values really are or what they really mean. I'm just here to sort of have a little bit of fun with them. Because we're playing with the, as I say, we're playing with the shape and the form. We're not really worried too much about the accuracy in this presentation. Okay, well, that's one shape that we could have for our skyscraper, but I really feel that's maybe uh, that's maybe lacking a little bit. You know, maybe we need to add something to that. So what I'll do is I'll select all of those and I'll apply another modifier onto this, and I will make that modifier a free form deformation box so I can grab hold of all those control points say maybe in the top and we'll scale them all towards the center so now you look again you start to say oh well actually that's a that's another idea I could have so maybe what I'll do is I'll start making copies of these every time I, I do something to them so we'll grab that. This was our original. This was our second building. I'll make another copy of that one. And what I'm going to do now with that one is say, I'll take those control points here and I'll um, move them all to the back. I think I might have to go full screen here. So we'll go full screen. And then I'll just start to move a few of these points just gently around yeah okay so that's cool that's quite an interesting shape there so we've got another slightly different variant shape now I'm going to make another copy of it and I think we're going to add a maybe a bend modifier onto that this is where things are going to get really crazy because we can start to have a lot of fun with this.